SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins to so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries on this 21st Sunday, the ordinary time of the church. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life because of your death on the cross, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins through the blood coming out of your most sacred heart, Christ of mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth by your rising from the dead, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh, 
Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command, to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding in it. I cannot endure it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts, like the earth parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live, lifting up my hands. I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. <coughs> I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. From then on, Jesus the Messiah started to indicate to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem to suffer greatly there, at the hands of the elders, chief priests, and the scribes, to be put to death and raised up on the third day. At this, 
Peter took him aside and began to remonstrate with him. May you be spared, Master. God forbid that any such thing ever happened to you. Jesus turned on Peter and said, Get out of my sight, you Satan. You're trying to make me trip and fall. You're not judging by God's standards, but by man's. Jesus then said to his disciples, If a man wishes to come after me, he must deny his very self, take up his cross, and begin to follow in my footsteps. Whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would a man show if he were to gain the whole world and ruin himself in the process? What can a man offer in exchange for his very self? Son of man will come with his father's glory accompanied by his angels. When he does, he will repay each person according to his conduct. This is the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon. The other day, my nephew had a birthday. Frontliner. Gusto kong sabihan eh. Alam kong mas gusto pang sabihan ng nanay niya na huwag ka nang pumunta doon. Kasi... Kawawa ay yung dalawa mong anak at yung asawa mo. Batang-bata pa kaya. Parang si Peter sa gospel ngayon. May you be spared, Master. God forbid that any such thing ever happen to you. At noong hinuli nga si Jesus, may itak si Peter eh. Naputulan pa niya ng tenga yung isang kasama na mga paring hudyo. So, maintindihan mo si Peter na wag na, wag ka nang, bakit ka pa mag-frontliner? Kaya lang, kagaya ni Jesus, yung mga frontliner, it is part of their self-consciousness. Nagpara, nag, Nagdoktor yan para makapaglingkod. Nagnurse sila para makaligtas ng buhay. Kaya nakikita mo, may mga nurse kahit baha, nagbibisikleta. Ang daming napapaiyak sa mga post ng mga frontliners ngayon. Yung iba naglupasay na lang doon sa simento. Kasi ilang oras, 48 hours na walang pahinga, maligtas lang ang buhay ng iba. Hindi maniniwala sa iyo yan. Pag sabihin mong wag, wag na kayo dyan. Mamamatay kayo dyan. Dami nang nangamatay na frontliners. Kaya lang, kailangan natin sila. Sila ngayon ang mga bayani. Nung sinalakay tayo ng hapon, yung tatay ko ang bayani. Nakulong sa kapas tarlak. Ngayon, yung pamangkin ko naman ang bayani at daan-daang mga doktor at mga nurse. Ay, ang mahalaga, tignan natin, which suffering can give life? Kasi ayaw din ng Panginoon ang unnecessary suffering. Ano ba ba? Sinabihan niya tayo, feed the hungry. Eh, di dapat magutong mo yung mga tao eh. Lalo na kung walang katarungan, labanan mo rin ang injustice. Hindi ilang pagkakainin mo yan. Sa pag pinakain mo, minsan lang. Samantalang kung ipinaglaban mo ang katarungan, mapapakain pa niya pati yung kanyang mga anak. Utos sa atin ng simbahan. Nasa Catholic Social Doctrine. Hindi sapat na hanggang devotions na lang tayo at pagdarasal. Kailangan, sabi ni Pope Francis, we attack the structures of injustice. Otherwise, baliwala lahat yung ating pagpapakain at mga feeding program. Unnecessary kasi ang suffering. Yung sa pamangkin ko at lahat ng mga frontliners, necessary 
suffering. Ang hirap daw niyan, ang tagal nila, 30 minutes na magsusuot ng PPE at saka kung ano-ano pa dyan. Pagkatapos, mahina ang aircon sa hospital, naliligo sa sariling pawis, at hindi sila makapagpalit dahil pagkatapos niyan, itatapon na yung PPE. So, ang ipagdasal natin ngayong linggo ay discernment. Kailan ba nisisari ang suffering? Kailan ba hindi nisisari ang suffering at kailangan tanggalin mo? Kasi wala namang gustong mamatay. Pati si Jesus. Kaya lang alam niya na kailangan he has to carry his cross so that he can redeem the world. And he has to carry his cross to give us an example that there are times when we have to carry our crosses like the frontliners or the soldiers or wag na natin kalim- kalimutan yung mga nasa grocery store yung mga nagtatrabaho sa nangunguha ng basura natin they are also endangering their lives at hindi mo masabihan wag nyo nang kunin yung basura eh, iwan nyo muna dyan mga nga mga ngamoy yung buong lungsod kung hindi nila gagawin niya. So ipagdasal natin sila at tayo rin, ang cross natin ngayon ay yung lockdown. Nakakamatay na yung boredom. Iniisip ko paano na kaya yung mga bata ngayon na hindi pa masyadong nakakapag-isip. Kaya isipin natin na may mga pasakit na kailangan. May mga pasakit na hindi kailangan. Ano ang utos ng Diyos? Kung may pasakit na kailangan, take up your cross and follow your master. Kung may pasakit na hindi kailangan, iwasan mo at kung iba ang pinapasakitan, tulungan mo, alisin mo ang dahilan kung bakit sila nagpapakasakit. Bakit sila nasasaktan? Halimbawa, ang dami ngayong naguguto. Eh, hindi naman ganun kadami yan kung may katarungan ang pagkahati ng yaman ng ating bansa. Kakalimutan na natin yan dahil COVID ng COVID nga tayo. Eh. Kakalimutan din po natin. Ang daming mga taong namamatay sa kanser, ang daming mga taong nag-high blood, ang daming mga taong may sakit sa puso dahil sa kimikal na nasa kinakain nila. Kaya nakikiusap ako sa mga magsasaka at lahat ng food producers. Ayusin niya naman para walang anisisari suffering yung mga bibili ng inyong mga produkto. Kaya tulungan niyo kami si Padre Ronnie Santos, Project 7, nagpapakain sa mga mahirap yan. Pagkatapos, kahapon mayroon pa siyang kusina ni Maria, may truck magluluto doon sa mga mahirap. Ang ipinaglalaban ko rin na yung niluluto natin, walang pesticide at saka kimikal dahil sisingilin tayo niyan. That will cause unnecessary suffering. E paulit-ulit kong sasabihin po sa inyo ngayon. Discernment. Kung kailangan magpasan ng cross, pasanin mo. Pero kung may pasakit na hindi angkop, hindi kailangan, hindi kalooban ng Diyos, kagaya ng pasakit na nanggagaling sa walang katarungan. Talibaw, ayong PhilHealth. Bilyon daw ang linakaw eh. Pabayaan natin na mapatunayan. Pero, alam na natin, sa ibang mga sangay ng gobyerno, ang daming pera ang nawawala. Kaya wala tayong paaralan, nahirapan tayo ngayon, lalo, pandemic na nga, nahirapan yung mga bata. Minsan mga teacher para ang gumagasta. Bakit? Ninakaw ang pera na para sa Department of Education. Ninakaw ang pera na pang hospital at para sa kapakanan ng bayan. 
That's why there is unnecessary suffering because there is no justice in this world. So let us pray today to Jesus, the divine word. He told us, if any, if, if any person wishes to come after me, must deny his very self, take up his cross, and begin to follow in his footsteps, in my footsteps. Whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Let us pray that we will have the strength to carry our cross when it is the will of God that we should do so. Let us also ask for the strength to take away the unnecessary pain, the injustice, the oppression, the human trafficking, that we will have the strength to take away unnecessary pain that is making life very difficult for our brothers and sisters. Let us now proclaim our faith in the God of love who promises us if we follow His Son promises us life in the world to come, joy that will never end. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of the faith, my sisters and brothers, let us pray to our Heavenly Father that through the cross of Christ, His Son, He may bring us to the glory of His kingdom. Let us pray for all the frontliners and all those endangering their lives so that lives can be saved. Full of confidence, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. Father, hear our prayer. For the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, and the proclaimers of God's word in our time. Lord, keep your word always burning in their hearts, that it may be their inspiration and strength. We pray. Father, hear our prayer. For government leaders, Lord, help them see and judge things in the light of your truth, so that they may not be sneered by the lure of power popularity and instant gratification we pray father hear our prayer for all of us lord help us live simply and selflessly so that we can become good stewards and thus make holy your creation we pray father hear our prayer for those who render service to family members relatives and other people in need Lord, be their strength and reward, especially in moments of fatigue and discouragement. We pray. Father, hear our prayer. For the sick, the oppressed, the heavily burdened, and the dying. Lord, make them feel that you are with them in their struggle. We pray. Father, hear our <coughs> prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions.
we pray. Father, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Jesus secures our faith through Peter and his successors. Give us the grace to keep and cherish our unity of faith in your church. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. My sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself people by adoption to the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, to the blood of your Son, the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Oh, oh, oh. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Ernesto of Bishop, and all the members of your one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially the hundreds of thousands who have died because of COVID-19 and all who have died in your mercy, especially the frontliners. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in heaven in the words Jesus, the divine word himself, taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and the unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who commanded us to take up our cross and follow him, so that he can lead us to life that will never end. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, 
Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenz Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reinadimitz, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity, especially COVID-19, far from you. And in His kindness, pour out upon you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is necessary and unnecessary suffering, and be found, found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. May the Almighty and loving God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit come down upon you, and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve Jesus, the Divine Word. Thanks be to God. Oh.